First, I'd like to take this opportunity to say, and I'm sure you'll agree, that the bridesmaids all look fantastic today and are outshone only by the bride herself, who looks absolutely stunning. As for Greg, well, he just looks stunned. Here we were in the Panera restaurant. It's full of people. And I said, this is what I want you to do. I want you to turn and face each other, hold hands. Greg, you go first. And you say, Delay, I love you, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you because... And he looked at me like, are you a crazy man? <laughs> right here, in this restaurant, right now? At love, such a silly game we play Oh, like a summer's day in May What is love? What is love? I just want you to be loved What he said, you are beautiful, fun, kind, you share the same life goals, the same values, you loved your families, and most of all Greg said that when he was with you, he feels that his life is complete. When I feel you around, I was so upset. Fell on the ground When I see you mad at me It was such a silly thing oh. And Delay said, Greg, you are honest You are caring You are handsome You believe in me You encourage me by always putting me first You have a very gentle soul You love to laugh And have fun Babe, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. I love it. <laughs> oh, baby. Your heart you is look so, so good. Thank you. So you didn't go with the sleeves and turn on that? No. <laughs> I didn't. That's perfect, babe. Oh, thanks. Good. That's just exactly how I imagined it. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> so good. Bless the wedding at Cana in Galilee by the presence of your Son, Jesus Christ. So by his Spirit, now bring your blessing to this wedding. Grant that Greg and Delay may rejoice in all your gifts and celebrate the marriage feast which has no end. Where you 
I take you to lay. I take you to lay. To be my wife. To be my wife. And these things I promise you. And these things I promise you. I will be faithful to you. I'll be faithful to you. And honest with you. And honest with you. I will respect. I will respect. Trust. Trust. Help. Help. And care for you. And care for you. I will share my life with you. I will share my life with you. I will forgive you. I will forgive you. As we have been forgiven. As we have been, have been forgiven. And I will try with you. And I will try with you. Better to understand ourselves. Better to understand ourselves. The world and God. The world and God. For as long as we share life together. For as long as we share life together. To be my husband. To be my husband. And these things. And these things. I promise you. I promise you. I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you. And honest with you. And honest with you. I will respect. I will respect. Trust. Trust. Help. Help. And care for you. And care for you. I will share my life with you. I will share my life with you. And I will forgive you. And I will forgive you. As we have been forgiven. As we have been forgiven. And I will try with you. And I will try with you. To better understand ourselves. To better understand ourselves. The world and God. The world and God. For all of the time we share. For all of the time we share. Give us space so we'll be I just wanted to reflect for a couple of minutes and give you all a little perspective on, you know, how maybe Greg and Delay came to this uh, point uh, this evening. And it's from my perspective because I kind of watched my son Greg grow up, go through all the dating activities and all that. And uh, it's kind of interesting because, you know, he's, he's a good looking guy and he's pretty intelligent and he's... <laughs> No, he's here. And he's, uh, he's a pretty good athlete and he used to have money. But uh, <laughs> so you think, well, maybe this is going to be like uh, the dating, uh, not the dating game, let's see, The Bachelor. That, that, you think, well, you know, he's going to be dating girls and bringing girls home and we're going to give him the thumbs up, thumbs down. And, uh, it didn't really didn't turn out that way. It, uh, I would say if you're gonna, the reality show would be called uh, The One. Your first impression of Delay is she is beautiful, she is charming, she's intelligent, and the best part is she, we've known her for a long time now. She's come to family functions and, you know, the best part is that first impression ends up being a lasting impression because the more you get to know her, the, the better person she is. My simple advice, be honest and trustworthy in everything you do with Greg. He must feel in his core that you are trustful and faithful in everything you say and do. So, as I say, as a parent, things really don't get any better than this. And I can say this because Hung and I are so happy, Greg, to have you marry our daughter, Delay. Hung and I have known you for many years. 
we know that you are a good and honest man. And again, this is, uh, this is a simple thing that I try to keep in my mind. <laughs> when she's happy, you're happy. <laughs> when she's not happy, she won't let you be happy. <laughs> So I'm at Greg the first day of college at St. Olaf, so unfortunately I can't comment much on his childhood. But his voice did crack like you're the donkey until 22, so I figure I couldn't have missed too much. We all know that Greg's the all-around sportsman and natural leader in both social circles and on the field. To be honest though, I've played golf with him and can say it's a close tie between how far he can throw the club and how far he can hit the ball. So although I wouldn't trust Greg while standing in front of a tee box, Greg is someone you can trust with your innermost secrets. This is not only because he's a trustworthy friend, but also because he has a horrendous memory. You can tell him anything, knowing that it will have almost certainly escaped him before he has a chance to say a word. Greg, you're the brother I never had, and I couldn't be happier for you today. Delay, you've become such a good friend over the past few years, and I couldn't feel more proud or honored than to be here representing Greg on this most important day of his life and marrying you. I look forward to creating and sharing memories with the two of you for many, many years to come. I love you, not only for what you are, but for what I am when I am with you. I love you not only for what you have made of yourself, but for what you are making of me. I love you for the part of me that you bring out. I love you for passing over all of the foolish, weak things you can't help dimly seeing there, and for drawing out into the light all of the beautiful belongings that no one else had ever looked quite far enough to find. I love you because you are helping me to make of the lumber of my life not a tavern, but a temple. Out of the works of my every day, not a reproach, but a song. I love you because you have done more than any creed could have done to make me good, and more than any fate to make me happy. You're no longer alone. Found a space to name our own and There ain't no need to fret or fuss We've got all the strength we need In the shape of us In the shape of us mm, In the shape of us And I know you've had it tough Road's been bumpy and rough But say goodbye to a world that you once knew I have every faith in me and you <laughs> I promise to give you the best of myself and to ask of you no more than you can give. I promise to respect you as your own person and to realize that your interests, desires, and needs are no less important than my own. I promise to love you in good times and in bad with all I have to give and all I feel inside in the only way that I know how, completely and forever. Never felt quite so at home and Your sweet caress is the best I've known and Now that I've proved to you that I'm worthy of your trust Let us build a world in the shape of us In the shape of us mm, In the shape of us Now 
Almighty, Almighty God, who is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless you and keep you in his light, his truth, and his love today and always. Delay the moment you have been waiting for. You may kiss your husband. <laughs>